When this receiver runs into the cornerback, the cornerback will lose acceleration, but the receiver will not. So when he runs into him, you can see how he just slingshots around him, kind of like you would in Mario Kart or something, as we get a very easy one-play touchdown to this receiver on this play as well. You can see how glitchy these formations are, as these defensive backs a lot of times will get crossed up and slam into one another, allowing pretty much both of these routes to get open. But you can see how easy it is for this receiver, as he's got about 20 yards of separation to the nearest defensive back. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, money team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the college cheese as always. In today's video, I'm going to go over the glitchiest routes in the game to use against Man Zero Blitz. If you guys ever played against somebody that's running Man Zero Blitz the entire game, it can really limit your offense to things like zig routes, slants, drags, and just make your offense entirely predictable. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys some instant one-play touchdowns that are basically going to break that coverage and try to get your opponent out of it. But before I do, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. This first play is going to be something that I first showed out of my Georgia offensive ebook. I'm going to be using the formation, the tray open offset, but this is really something that you should be able to find in just about any playbook in the game. So go to your favorite playbook, check any trips formation and look for a play that looks similar to the shock age option. As this slot fade is going to be the play, but if you guys want more help or more money plays, you can download this or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking links in the description or the top end comment. Now, this slot fade on its own is not a man beating route. As you'll see here, I try to throw it to the outside and it will give you a one on one against the safety, but it needs a little bit of adjustments. All you have to do to make this a one play touchdown is custom stem this receiver up to about 12 yards and then wait for him to run away from the safety before lob passing outside away. And you'll see you have a very easy one play touchdown against this defense. If we watch the instant replay, you can see how this receiver has outside leverage, even if it's slight on this safety. He's backpedaling like it's a streak, but the second he turns outside, you can see how this receiver has nothing but space as we just have to lob it up for a very easy catch around one play touchdown. Next up, I'm going to show you guys a play out of my Alabama offensive ebook, and this formation is only found in Alabama. The Gun Bunch TE is one of the best formations in the entire game, and I already broke down this entire play in a full-length video where I showed how to score a one-play touchdown against every single defense in the game with the PA Verticals play. So if you guys want to see more one-play touchdowns from this play, I'll have a link in the description below on screen at the end of the video, so stick around for that. Against Cover Zero, there's multiple plays here that can score. The, the route that I'm going to focus on, though, is going to be the X route, as this is really run best if you run it from a hash mark to the short side of the field like I am here, which is very easy to do in game. All you have to do is run a play and get yourself to the sideline before doing it. And you'll notice that the X receiver here is going to completely roast the cornerback in front of him. So I'm just going to, you know, basically cancel the play action. And you can see how this receiver just runs around that cornerback for a very easy one play touchdown. Now, if we go to the replay, we're going to see why this happens. I've said this in multiple videos that when this receiver runs into the cornerback, the cornerback will lose acceleration, but the receiver will not. So when he runs into him, you can see how he just slingshots around him, kind of like you would in Mario Kart or something, as we get a very easy one play touchdown to this receiver on this play as well. Next up, I'm going to switch over to Madden to show you guys a play that can be found in both college and Madden. This can be found in the Kansas City Chiefs offensive ebook that I put out earlier this year, as well as the Michigan Wolverines offense. And it should look familiar to people that follow me when I played mostly Madden last year. The formation is called the I form close, and the play is going to be the PA deep cross go, as this has a very unique route that's also found in my Georgia offensive ebook as well in a different formation. Now, the only real adjustments you have to make here is to make sure that the B receiver doesn't get double teamed. So put the A tight end on a drag and he will basically take up any double teaming options. And you can see how this B receiver here has nothing but catch and run space once he leaves the middle of the field. Now there is one issue where the X receiver's defender will come off and eventually try to pursue the B receiver. So if you put him on a post route, that'll basically pull that guy out of the middle of the field and allow this guy nothing but catch and run space. As you can see now, we have a potential catch and run one play touchdown against cover zero. And it's a very easy play, whether you're doing this in college football or Madden. College football, like I said, it's also in the Michigan Wolverines playbook. And in this particular setup, you don't really have to put any uh, other receiver on a route. Just put the X receiver on a post, run from a hash mark to the open side of the field. And you'll see play actions are much more impactful in this game as we don't have anybody double teaming over the middle. And we get a very easy catch and one play touchdown in this game as well. 
Next up, I'm gonna show you guys a route that's super glitchy from Hawaii, as this is one of the glitchiest uh, playbooks in the entire game, is they have a ton of option routes that no other playbook has. But the play or the route that I'm gonna show you is found in several formations, whether it's a gun trip slot close or just the regular gun trips, which will be the one that I'll choose to show you guys this play from. And the play is called the Streak X Shallow. Now, I just wanted to show too that I am running this on Heisman, and every single play that I've shown, I've gone against the number one defense in the game in Ohio State. They are the highest rated defense. I've also used the team that the team playbook is based from. So right now I'm using Hawaii, which is not a very good team. So at the end of the day, I just want to show you guys that the route matters or the play matters more than the actual players themselves, because I know a lot of people think otherwise. Now on this play here, I chose this play because I don't really have to make any adjustments aside from the A receiver, which is going to be the receiver that I'm focusing on. On this play, I don't really have to make any adjustments. As you'll notice, this A receiver does get open and I can basically basically get a house call against the number one safety in the entire game in Caleb Downs. But that's also an area where your opponent might be using, and that's why I chose this play, because I want to feed them a route like this by motioning in the X receiver so that they think that I'm hitting a double drags concept before this A receiver turns up field. But I also find that it's best to custom stem this receiver one more time, the same way I did on the first play, so that he breaks at about 10 yards. And this will help to make sure that any users will not necessarily be in the way. But you can see that once he breaks, he does get wide open. Now, that was just a bad pass. We'll go and we'll do that again. We don't have to motion in that X receiver against the computer, but you can see how you have plenty of time to get this ball out as we're going against a double cornerback blitz, and we have the exact same result as this is just one of the most unique routes in the game. Now, another thing you can do with this route is you can also motion it across the formation if you do have a user who's cutting off routes over the middle and do the exact same thing by custom stemming him up to about 10 yards. And now you'll notice how he's basically just gonna run an out route that gets wide open once again before turning up field for a very easy one play touchdown. And only this time, there probably won't be any user in the area. And if we go to the depth chart, you can see how Ashlock here is only an 89 speed receiver. He's going up against one of the best players in the entire game, not just the best safety, but the best players, period, in the entire game of Caleb Downs, who's much faster, has much better change of direction. He's 91 speed, 91 change of direction. I'm not sure if his man coverage is necessarily going to be on par since he's a safety, but I'm sure it's higher. Yeah, he's got an 87 man coverage. So there's no real reason that he should be getting open against this five-star recruit. But if we watch the replay, the, the route is just nasty as the receiver gets outside every single time and has nothing but catch and run space to get up the field once again for another easy one play touchdown. And last but not least, we're in San Diego State in a formation called the Gun Bunch Wide. This is one of the glitchier formations in the game. I've already put out a lot of plays similar to this and I might spend a little bit more time in this as this has one of the best cover zero plays in the entire game called the fake screen vertical. So let's go and let's pick that. On defense, we wanna make sure we have a lot of defensive backs on the field. So we're gonna come out the dime rush. Now this formation also has a running back blocking, which a lot of these types of formations don't. As you can see here, this RB receiver just gets wide open over the middle of the field with no real adjustments at all. And sometimes you'll notice that you'll get some wacky animations where these DBs will get crossed up and this receiver will get wide open because the defensive backs ran into one another. You can see how glitchy these formations are as these defensive backs a lot of times will get crossed up and slam into one another, allowing pretty much both of these routes to get open. But you can see how easy it is for this receiver as he's got about 20 yards of separation to the nearest defensive back. So I'm gonna go to end the video there. If you guys wanna see more one play touchdowns from one of the plays that I showed earlier in the video from Alabama's offense, of ebook or have that pop it up on screen as i should have scored one play touchdown against every single defense in the game with this play so just click the links and until next time thanks for watching man wish it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below